Hello, welcome to week seven of SWCPL's summer reading program for elementary aged kids. This week, we're gonna be making a musical instrument called a pan pipe. So if you picked up your kit from the library, you'll have some straws, um, little strips of card stock like this, you'll have your instruction sheet, and then you'll also have a bonus activity. Um, here we go, some tangrams. So you can cut this out and use these um, pieces to make these different animals down there and to make lots of other things. And so we would love to see what you do with those. You could color them in before you cut them out if you want to. We're not gonna do anything with those in the video today, but like I said, we would love to see pictures of what you do at home. So we are gonna get started on our pan pipe. So if you didn't um, get your kit from the library, this should be a super easy one to make at home as long as you have plastic straws. So what you are gonna do, first off, you have eight straws in your kit or you need to gather eight straws at home. So as you can see, my straws are all different sizes. So probably when you start out, yours are all gonna be the same size. So you are gonna need to get a ruler and you're gonna measure out and cut each straw to a different size. And when you cut them, you are going to number them. So the very first straw, we're gonna number it number one, and it needs to be seven and a half inches. So you might need some adult help at home if maybe you're not super comfortable measuring. You wanna get it as close to seven and a half inches as you can. Straw number two needs to be six and a half inches. So that's gonna be six and a half inches for straw number two. Straw number three is an even six inches. So it's gonna be about half an inch shorter than straw number two. Straw four is going to be five and a half inches, if you can see that straw there, it's five and a half inches. Then we have straw number five, which is five inches. So as you can see now, we're kind of going down half an inch every step. The first one was a whole inch drop, but now we're going half an inch. So straw number six is going to be four and a half inches. Straw number seven is gonna be four inches. And finally, straw number eight is three and a half inches. So, if you need to go back and pause this video as many times as you need to to get those straws cut. So once you have them all cut, even if they're out of order, that's all right. You're gonna lay them out in front of you like this and you are going to get some tape. We're gonna be using masking tape, but you could use duct tape if you want to get, maybe you have some like fancy camouflage or sparkly duct tape that you wanna use, or if you have like washi tape that's, um, that you use for art stuff, you could use that. Or you could just use regular scotch tape too. You just wanna make sure you have a nice long piece of tape that you are going to lay flat in front of you. And if it's a little bit too long, that's fine because we can always rip it off later. So you're gonna lay that flat piece of tape in front of you. You're gonna grab one of your pieces of card stock. And if you don't have card stock at home, you could use a piece of cardboard or like um, if you have a cereal box, you could cut off maybe one of the tabs from that and use it. Or if you don't have any of that, you can do this without the cardstock. It'll just be a little bit less sturdy. So you're gonna plop that down right in the middle of your tape, as close to the middle as you can get it. You see mine's yellow, so it kind of blends in with the table. So I'll hold it up there. Now is the time I can get this off my fingers. Now is the time to start putting your um, pieces of the pan pipe on. So you're gonna wanna grab one of the little chunks that you cut off of one of your straws. Sorry if you already threw them away. You could also probably just use your pinky. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna start with straw number one. We're gonna lay that on the edge of our card stock. And you wanna make sure that you're not putting 
the tip of the straw on the tip of the cardstock, you want it to hang down a little bit. And this is where it's gonna be a little bit tricky um, because you want the ends of this to all line up because when you have your pan pipe and you're playing it, you want to easily be able to move from one pipe to the other or one straw to the other. So one thing you could do is take your other piece of cardstock and maybe put it across the bottom here so that you know if your straw is touching that bottom part, then it's gonna to be touching that all along the way and it'll be as even as you can get it. So you are just gonna go from one to two, to three, to four, to five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna to wanna to take your spacer and put them in, put it in between each of those. And when you get them all on there, kind of give your, your bottom cardstock piece a little shove to make sure they're all even. Then you're gonna take your tape as gently as you can and fold it over to make sure they all stay in place. Wrap it around. And I got a little bit too much of a gap there, so I'm going to kind of fold that up. All right. And then you could, if you want it to be a little bit sturdier, you can put your other piece of cardstock over top of the other one and tape it again. And if you want it to be even sturdier than that, you could put another piece of tape down across here. You want to just make sure you don't go past the shortest straw and cover up that hole. And I don't know if you could hear me, but when I blow into each straw, they make different sounds. Kind of like when you're singing and you have different pitches. So what happens is when you're blowing into that straw, the air in the straw is vibrating or it's going like this. And you change the pitch by changing the length of each straw. So when I blow into straw number one, the one that's longer, it's gonna be a lower sound or deeper than when I blow into straw eight, which is shorter. So we would love to see your pictures or even if you wanna take a video of you playing your pan pipe, we would love to see that as well.